Corfu is a Greek island northwest of the coast of the Ionian Sea, only 35 kilometers away from Albania. It has a population of about 100,000 and an area of 610.9 kilometers square, which is roughly 236 square miles. The island was heavily influenced by its Venetian, French, and British rule until it became part of Greece in 1864. It is indeed a beautiful island with rugged mountains and numerous sandy beaches that are oftentimes tucked in between the mountains. Here, we would like to share with you our top 10 favorite features of a trip to Corfu. Starting with number 10, boat trips, including those that go to Albania. So from the island of Corfu, mostly from Corfu town, you'll be able to take boat trips to its surrounding islands, such as Paxos and Antipaxos, which are famous for their beautiful beaches and wine. But if you want to be more adventurous and fancy taking a trip to an entirely different country, you can take one of the ferries over to Saranda in Albania, which only takes 30 to 60 minutes depending on the type of ferry. From the coastal town of Taranda, you can take a tour to the National Park of Betrint, which has a rich ecosystem and is famous for its archaeological site containing ancient Greek, Roman, Byzantine and Venetian ruins all in one place. Number 9. Lake Corrigan Lake Corrigan or Corrigan Lagoon is located not too far from the village of Agios Mateos and is only separated from the sea by Kalikuna Beach and it is Corfu's biggest lake. The area is also perfect for a hike and a swim. A path will lead you through the forests of prickly juniper and sand dunes. The lagoon is protected by the Natura 2000 network due to its huge diversity of fauna and flora, and if you're lucky, you might even spot one of the 14 different orchids and other rare plants, birds and tortoises. Number 8. The Achillion if you enjoy architecture, parks and nice views, the Achillion would be the perfect place for you to visit. The Achillion is a palace only 10 kilometers south of Corfu town and was built for Sisi, the Empress of Austria following her son's, Crown Prince Rudolf's, suicide in 1889. Empress Elizabeth, or Sisi, had a fascination for ancient Greek hero Achilles and thus the whole property is dedicated to him and the mythical region of Phaeacia. Today the palace functions as a museum and attracts many visitors who admire the architecture, the stunning views and beautiful gardens. Number 7. The Double Bay One of the most gorgeous sights of Corfu is the Double Bay, also known as Porto Timone Beach. As the name would suggest, it consists of two bays touching each other forming a double bay and thus also offers a double beach. To get there, start off at the hilltop of the village of Afionas and follow the signs to the double bay. Make sure you wear good shoes because the narrow downhill path is quite rugged and steep. It takes about 30 minutes to get there and on the way you will enjoy numerous spectacular views of the double bay itself and its surroundings. Number 6. Cape Drastis Cape Drastis is located in the most northwesterly point of the island and is famous for its stunning cliffs and rock formations. To get there, drive to the village of Perulades, from there you will find a trail along the cape and also a road that leads to a small beach. From there, you can take a boat trip to the cliffs and the channel-shaped beach Canal d'Amor. Number 5. Greek Cuisine if you like Greek cuisine, you will love Corfu. It is full of quaint tavernas that serve traditional food and some of them are even set on hilltops and cliffs that provide a stunning view over the island. A fruit that is famous and often attributed to the island of Corfu is the kumquat. It looks a little bit like an oval mini orange and has a slightly bitter taste. The fruit has its origins in China and Japan but is grown in Corfu and has become one of the island's trademarks. Especially in Corfu town, but also in souvenir shops, one can find different products made of kumquats such as liqueurs, jams and sweets. Number 4. Corfu Town Corfu Town or Kerkira is the capital city of the island and has a population of about 40,000. The city centre is full of Venetian style buildings and narrow alleys with numerous shops. Also visit the Venetian New Fortress in the city centre and the Old Fortress, which is situated on a rocky peninsula. It offers stunning views of Corfu town and the mountains of Albania's Batrint National Park. Number 3. Villages and Greek Life Corfu has a number of very quaint villages that represent traditional Greek life. 
One of our favourite villages on the island was Athionas, which is situated on a peninsula in the northwest of Corfu. Walk up the hill through the village's narrow alleys and enjoy the picturesque shops and building fronts. On top of the hill, you will be able to enjoy a stunning view and if you walk towards the tip of the peninsula, you will reach the double bay. Just beware that finding a parking spot in Athionas can be a little tricky at times. Number 2. Hiking If you love mountains and nature in general, Corfu is the perfect holiday destination for you. It is full of trails that lead up to mountains and impressive views of the sea and the island. Corfu's highest mountain is Mount Pantocrator. It is located in the northeast of the island and has a height of 906 meters or nearly 3,000 feet. When you hike in Corfu, make sure you wear proper hiking boots because the paths can be very rugged. Also, be sure to watch your step because one of the most poisonous European snakes, the Nosehorn Viper, is also resident of the island. It is very rare to get bitten, but if you do, immediately call the emergency number 166 or 112. And finally, number one, beaches and bays. Corfu has a number of beautiful beaches and bays, but one of our favorite beaches is Agios Gordios, which is about 19 kilometers southwest of Corfu town. The beach looks stunning from the top of its surrounding hills and can be reached via narrow roads. Agios Gordios offers all the facilities you need, such as restaurants and shops. If you prefer beaches that are a little quieter, go to beaches that are not as well known, such as Halikonos Beach in the southwest of the island. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.